Either fellows. Today we'll be having a bit of fun. Take a look at what I've bought myself. You know those fire starters people take with them camping? The ones that, unlike matches, will work even if you get them wet. Look at how many sparks it produces. So my idea is to take the cores and plant them into some brake pads. I'm sure you see where this is going. We're gonna spin up the wheel, hit the brakes, and see whether we can reproduce the same effect. Alright, let's do this. Fiery Flint Brake Pads, translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. So here's where we're at with this. I've got the brake pad right here. We've implanted bits of rod into it, made from flint, which should give us a good sparkle. Here I've got a brake rotor, which we ground down and uh, we could have drilled some holes into it, of course, but instead we've cut some slots using an angle grinder. That's to make them rods produce more sparks upon contact. I'm expecting this to be a riot. Let's try it out. Here's what's happening, fellas. Fairly simple. We took a brake pad, and finding a way to graft them rods in, well, this is how we were able to do it. The fact that it appears to be such a mess doesn't bother us in the slightest. Alright, let's give this a try. We need to keep this ball rolling. I don't know what just happened. No, I don't think the rotor can be displaced. It's no longer that spectacular. They might be completely worn out. So we did see some sparks the second time around, but for some reason, the sparkling effect didn't last too long. Looks like they wear out really fast. Let's remove the pad and see what's left of it. Okay, fellas, so the brake pads that were rocking those flint rods, you saw what they did, but it only lasted like three, four, five, maybe ten seconds tops. As for what to do, well, we've decided to keep experimenting. Here's what we think might work. So right here I've got myself a piece of titanium. It gives you a bright white spark. The idea is to remove the stuck friction material and replace it with titanium. The iron very well might start cutting into it. 
I mean, what if this actually works? Right, let's find some way to secure it, mount the pad and see what's up. Okay, fellas, here's the situation. It's all rather simple. You got three bolts, which are flush, to keep them from coming into contact with the rotor. We'll leave that to the titanium. The nut's not going to be a problem, since it'll clear the brake piston. And so now we're going to mount this up and try this out on a regular sort of brake rotor. Hopefully this gives us a good spark. We've installed the pad with a regular rotor. Fired up. Let's see where this goes. Will we see spark or will we not? Give it some more gas, man, come on. That's enough, stop. Well, I saw something, but it's not the same. But we came prepared. We've made us a... Trick rotor. We cut out the middle section of an angle grinder disc and glued it onto this brake rotor. And now let's hope that this actually works. And gives us the result that we're after. Here goes nothing. Now I'm hoping to see a proper spark effect. Come on, let's do this. Now that's what I'm talking about. Now we need to wait for it to cool down. I'm joking. I doubt this even got hot. Of course it didn't. We're looking good. We've decided to mount a wheel and see how that looks. We chose this one so that we have a better view of the hub. So the entire point of this is experimentation. We are not looking to increase the braking force or whatever. And we're definitely not measuring braking distance. So we're lacking any sort of practical aspect here. The whole point is to have some fun. We fried something. No worries. That'll do. You all saw that cool effect. This experiment was a tremendous success. We got the effect we wanted. If you enjoyed this, show us some love. Who knows, we might even do all four corners. Get a set of wheels with not too many spokes, get up to speed, brake, and that's gonna be rad. That's all I have for you fellas, watch us, subscribe, send in those comments and suggestions, give us a big thumbs up. Alright, catch you later.